good kit in the internet and welcome back to wild arms 2 um hopefully all the audio problems are sorted at this point i've dropped the game capture down to minus 23 decibels and my microphone capture is at minus 10. my audio from my own voice sounded fine in this case it was just the game audio was really loud so i'm hoping this works actually it would make sense for me to actually listen to my test recording shouldn't it one moment well, unfortunately, I can't tell because YouTube does weird things with the audio processing. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Either way, this should be better at least. It is the same microphone audio volume as it was before. And I can definitely tell that the game capture audio is low. It just might be too low. Anyway, hi, where we last left off. Judica offed himself rather than be brought to justice. And we have three more Diablo Towers left. Any guesses to what's at each of the Diablo Towers? Give you a hint, it's all of the members of Cactus. Anyway, I wanted to talk about apples. Sorry, was trying to finish eating the apple. Um. I am serious, I do want to talk about apples, though. So, what I wanted to mention was... Finally remembering to do that. Um, I like apples. These are Honeycrisp apples. These are organic Honeycrisp apples. I can't stand the concept of organic fruit. The reason why is really simple. Fruit are already organic. I know what they mean when they use the term organic. It's just that I don't need any of that. What I mean is that I don't want any of the price differentiators that they have already in place because I'm shopping organic or anything like that. The reason why I buy organic honey crisp apples is because they actually fit in my fruit slicer. Oh, I just noticed it's catching the green screen from the green behind me, but it fits in the fruit slicer that I have. And I have a fruit slicer rather than, which is a unitasker and is a mortal sin in the church of Alton Brown. But the reason why I have one is really simple. I don't trust myself with knives sometimes. I am chronically depressive, severely chronically depressive, and I absolutely have times where I will go into the kitchen and basically go, I shouldn't touch a knife right now. I don't trust me cooking. I don't know why I let that random encounter happen, but sure. Oh, um, something I discovered in my Let's Analyze video. If you didn't watch that last one, that's fine. Don't worry about it, but um, I actually can mystic something else now. Um, I think I have it equipped somewhere, don't I? Yeah. I can Mystic the Holy Grail. And it casts a spell called Thanatos X, which is one of the spells that Tim's currently learning. Which is really neat. I never knew I could actually Mystic Holy Grail, because unlike Wild Arms 1, I can't Mystic most things. Wild Arms 1, it was like, Mystic a status preventing item, and you cast a spell that will remove that status effect. That's fine. Or, um, Mystic the rings. That actually still works, where you Mystic one of your rings and you cast that spell. In fact, that's actually what I'm about to do. Mystic Thor ring. And it casts an area of effect spell that hits everybody. It's Tim's um, lightning spell. Which, strangely enough, is actually using the Wild Arms 1 terminology. I need to do a Let's Analyze and actually dive into the code of Wild Arms 2. It's got to have some really interesting things in it. And as far as I can tell, nobody's done that yet. Wild Arms 1, I had some help being able to research some things. Wild Arms 2, I don't see anything like that. Also, I can't remember where the heck I'm going. I've just decided I wanted to go exploring and talk to you a bit about organic apples right 
So, um, apples. I don't care about it being organic. They are going to need to use pesticides in order to produce enough food for the American populace as it is today. At least for it to be commercially viable. Um, capitalism arguments are a completely different question. I'm not going to get into that this time. Uh, that's one I've already gone to. Uh, but organic produce is actually less healthy for the environment than regular produce. The reason being is that you have to use a lot of so-called organic pesticides, which can be much nastier to the environment, which can be non-targeted. Now, I'm not saying that, hey, look, Monsanto is a great corporation. No, they are evil as hell. Don't get me wrong. But uh, that's not where I wanted to teleport, was it? No, I want to go to Tabak Village, actually. But I don't buy organic fruit because organic fruit is not good for anybody, basically. The exception to my don't buy organic fruit policy are Honeycrisp apples. Where's this at? It's this Stamson City? Yeah, that's Stamson City. Mm-hmm. Because that's under traffic. Um, this is the Inland Sea area. Yep. I know where I'm at now. Okay, um, the reason why is that for some reason, and please, internet, help me try to figure out this reason. Breeders are obsessed with freaking huge Honeycrisp apples. I don't understand why. This is a dungeon we've already been in. Yeah, it's Shining Garden. And those apples do not fit in my slicing system. And that is most unfortunate. Normally I try, so on my, since this is during pandemic times, I have delivery groceries because it's a very bad idea for me to be exposed to the coronavirus. And in my delivery groceries, I try to specify, okay, regular apples, but smaller. Unfortunately, the regular delivery groceries ignore my requests entirely, driving me completely up the wall. Yeah, this is Courtly area, it's not here. Um, driving me completely up the wall by not paying attention to anything I ask for. Pretty waterfall. Also not where I want to go. I am lost. Oh, there's the Diablo pillar that I was looking for. This is Antonora, right? I'm not even looking at any type of guide right now. There's no reason for me to. So, I wonder if I can find that item. Um, yeah, I have no idea where that's at. That's probably someplace I can't get to, I'm guessing. Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, apples, organic fruit. Oh, um, my orders. My orders for these are pretty much always not fulfilled properly, and I end up with freaking huge apples like this big. It's ridiculous. And, um, I can't slice them with my little apple slicer thing. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, that's right. This is the one that it doesn't matter. I remember now. Ooh, what are you? Harvestmen and Balfons. I guess I'll actually look up to see what those are specifically. Uh, it's a low-level guide. That's the ability list. Where do the other guides go? Guides. Uh, monster. There we go. Let's see. 
Harvestmen, they're weak against light, and they drop busts. Okay. Um, Belfons drop antidotes, so they're probably going to poison. They're weak against fire. Okay. Where was I going with that Apple story again? So, yeah. Uh, time for Nova Rain. Basically, it's kind of an accessibility feature. I could just buy pre-sliced apples. They're horribly expensive. This is much cheaper, and I don't have any problems with pushing down, at least. Uh, as long as I don't do it too hard. Otherwise, I injure my shoulders, actually. I thought they were weak against fire. No, that's frost, not fire. Derp. Anyway, long story short, we're doing this again. All of these dungeons have the same design. Just on that man, I'm supposed to be getting kills for Tim. Uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I buy organic apples. I know, that's a really important story for the game of Wild Arms too. how I remember that puzzle. Yep, just going up the tower. But a, a necromancer. You have anything cool? Mmm, you have big berries that I can pickpocket. Never mind, you actually do have cool things. Summon undead. Hmm. They're undead, good to know. do a check on Tim to see where he's at on learning Thentos X. 
15 more until Arcana 13, 35 more until Fangible Sex, okay. I mean, honestly, now that I know that I can prevent instant death, I'm far less concerned about enemies. In fact, I should probably just start Thanatos Xing every time. Actually, that might be a good way of... Unclean ones, obey! Hmm. Hmm. Do you actually count as undead? I don't understand the worm puppet on the arm, though. That's a little weird. Yes, you do. Well, this dungeon's even easier than I thought. Oh, yeah, I should mention the content warning. Um, well, the content warning's in the description. I don't remember how much of it is explicit and how much isn't, which is why I'm phrasing it as in the description. Oh, I'm going to test your memory. Memorize the correct pattern. All right. Ugh. Now I don't remember the rest. Nope. It's a barrier to block the road. A barrier to expel intruders. I was not paying enough attention because I'm eating an apple. Just going to write down this pattern. Obviously, it changes each time. Five, or. Ah, the way I wrote that down did not make any sense. Derp. All right, you know what? Let's not write it down. Let's just open up a notepad. That makes more sense. All right. Okay. Four. Seven. Nine. One, two. Five. Three. Eight. Six. Oh, hey, look. I keep getting voicemails from the same spammer. It's great. Ugh. Over and over and over again. It's just, uh... <sighs> Phones in the US, they suck. So yeah, these Diablo pillars are going to be fairly boring until we actually get to the ends of each. Hmm. What are you? Hmm. That was in the previous Diablo pillar.
and they do cause instant death, so Mystic Holy Grail actually makes perfect sense. Hooray! Those are the things weak against ice. These bugs are weak against ice in this game, that's what it is. Do you have any weird food things, like my obsession over non-organic, but have to order organic honey crisp apples? as well. So Lilka is going to be on heal slash pickpocket duty. Cannon's going to dig stuff up and Tim's going to kill everything. That's the way we're going to do this. These enemies aren't even threats to me, which is sad. It weren't for the fact that I am intentionally trying to get Thanatos X as fast as possible. their weaknesses. It's probably Earth. Brad leveled. That's perfectly fine. We'll get back to using Brad at some point. Oh, I um, wanted to address a question from earlier video. Yeah, um... That was, why didn't I upgrade Railgun? And the reason why is that Railgun's really hard to use. I'm only going to be using it in boss battles. And right now, I'm using Cannon more often in boss battles than I am Brad. I will be changing that at some point. Still trying to get used to Cannon. You plan on... You plan to not let us go? Sorry, pal. Nothing you do will work because I've got magical powers. Aw, oh, yeah. Magic is a power that can do anything. I'm going to be able to do it all, too, just like my older sister. Boss time. Hmm. Looks like darkness. Unfortunately, that means Luca is unable to actually help in this case. But on the plus side... Where is it at? She can use Hype Weapon on Cannon. Cannon can make some beatdowns. And Tim can cast Blackgate.
How? Sadly, Lilka doesn't have any extend crests yet. That would be the correct way of handling this, but oh well. well uh, Dark Star. These battles are really easy to me. So as I was mentioning in my Let's Analyze video, this actually does less damage in Cannon's normal attack right now, but I wanted to decrease my force ability so her attack increases next turn. Although it might be dead now. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, worked out anyway. Armor for Lilka. I am going forwards, right? Wanted to make sure. Apples are pretty good. I do not trust these enemies that not use instant death. Meh. You all are getting arrow shot. Got it. I mean, they're undead and use darkness element damage. I'm not trusting Jack Squat. Um, let's see. Heal yourself. Forgot that I could just turn undead instead of using arrow shot, but that's okay. Turn! Glad I have fast forward. Ominously inquire. I see. Loka can heal up Tim all the way, and we can turn them. The end. Hmm. Forgot I should probably re-equip the purse. There we go. Continue our way up. Over and over and over again. There's no there are no items in this place. It's dumb. There is a safe point. Alright. Climb up some more floors. Again. 
We're at half an hour. I can totally do two of these. And I was being slow, too, with my initial bit of I'm just going to go exploring. I didn't bother unequipping that. Speaking of... These enemies are way too easy when you have Turn Undead. They're easy without it, for that matter. Hmm. Getting more throwing items. Too bad most of the throwing items in this game are terrible. The only reason why I was searching for throwing items before is that Cannon was so low level that constant damage from throwing an item made more sense. If you move the wrong switch, you have to do it again. Sorry, wrong voice. If you move the wrong switch, you have to do it again. Go for it. So basically what this is, is that I need to hit all of the switches. And not hit a specific one. The problem is that they don't actually tell you which one is the wrong one until you hit it. That's the wrong one. I got really lucky and got that on the first try. Cool. Alright. We're here. Alright, remember that content warning. Yeah, the, these enemy- uh, the members of Coctus may be a little messed up. Just a little. Let's see how much is my memory versus reality. And up here is Antonora. You ever wonder why I use that slightly seductive, sultry voice for Antonora? There's a reason. Get out of my way! Though she's an Odessa officer, if possible, I'd rather not fight that woman. She's probably the least evil of them, to be honest. No, she's not the least evil. She just have a has a very targeted evil. Oh, you're so naive. I have my reasons for being here, and I'm ready to die if I must. So, you saying you won't retreat? He's watching, because Vinfield's watching. How admirable of you. But if you attack, we have no choice but to respond. We'll give it our best shot. Have you figured out what's going on with Antonora yet? Vinsfield is watching me stand here on the battlefield. So, to meet his expectations, I'll have to fight you. I'm not protecting the Diablo Pillar. I'm protecting the feelings in my heart. Everything started that day. It was all for the feelings in my heart. Now, come on. All right. She has a lot of hit points, but that's about it. Honestly, we've got enough lucky cards. Let's use one. Oh, I have the wrong things equipped. No doesn't matter in this case. 
Wow, she's slow. Femeron. Which does a lot of damage, but that's all it does. It's just damage. Regular heal's fine. Cannon. Let's get you some more attacks first. Tim. Yep, it's time to use the higher level spells. Yeah, I can almost fully heal off of Ephemeron now. Probably depends on who I hit. Or who gets hit with it. Why do I even bother? This is a really easy battle, apparently. It's not even worth healing. Uh, you don't have 40 SP, drat, or FP, drat. Otherwise, Saber is the best option, probably. Just hit with a spell, I guess. Um, cannon, Wire Fist, I guess. I didn't re-equip Cannon. That explains things. There we go. That's better. We can get a couple more attacks in. Zap. Shockwave. Cannon, yeah, it's time for you to actually start using your abilities. Phalanx is perfectly fine in this case. And Tim, go ahead and first aid. Ah, and he knows. Shockwave, that's fine. Just summon. Mm. Cannon, Eagle Claw, I guess. Nah, let's get. You're gonna be first aiding again. Negative zone. It is just darkness damage, right? And not instant death? Yeah, okay. Cat yeah, arc kick. Armor on white. Milka can do that with a normal heal. Cannon, wire fist directly into her soul. Tim, it's time for you to start summoning. Do you even have it equipped? Oh, don't remember. We'll find out. That might be instant death, actually. Oh, Geromatos. That would be instant death. Oh well. It's not going to do anything if it is. Some evil rain. Nah. Yep, that's instant death. Ah, uh, status one. One moment. At least I am actually remembering to look up at the microphone when I need to be hit. By the way, Kitty, I should mention where Kitties are at. They're asleep. Speaking of being asleep, so is Tim. Along with being silenced. That's not a good combination. I don't think I can cast Restore right now, can I? Yes, I can. Tim's our primary damage dealer. I need him up. Ooh, that might do... Okay, we're fine. 
Barely, but we're fine. Hey, Cannon. Let's get some gat. Tim. Uh, if I want to be safe, I would first aid. Do I want to be safe? No. I want Antonora dead already. Antonora just has a lot of hit points. It's not like she's that powerful. Yep, there we go. All right. It's over. It's all gonna be over now. The pain that has been concealed in my heart has finally been given form. I need him to see how I look right now. I need Vincefield to see. She's not doing this for love. Field, you know, <laughs> me and that man, <laughs> you make me laugh. You've got it all wrong. It's the opposite. I despise that man. I want revenge. Ah, uh, revenge? Why are you? Both my mother and father were killed by that man. They were killed just because they were connected to the Slayheim royal family. Do you remember when we were in Courtly a while back, we were talking to people with some rumors, and one of the rumors was that most of the members of the Slayheim royal family and everybody that they knew were killed, but there may have been a couple of survivors? She's one of the survivors. That man in Vinsfield who led the Slayheim Liberation Army? He killed my parents. But my powers alone weren't strong enough to destroy that man. So you join forces with the enemy, and that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Didn't I already tell you? It's revenge. This was the biggest revenge I could take on the man who took everything from me. I did everything I could to get that man to love me. All the sins I committed, all the pain I suffered, it was to steal his heart. Vincefield came seeking my heart and my body. I've come to occupy a large place in his heart. What will happen to his heart if I'm destroyed by you all? I can imagine the expression on his face when he hears, I have been destroyed. By stealing his valuable me, I get my revenge. So yeah, revenge. Still believe she had strong fields for feelings for Vincefield. Love and hate are the same. They're the sides of the same coin. It's given form to gaining strength from one's strong desires. I wonder which I am? Can't really tell. So, so it's good to know that my memory is not quite right, but I'm still going to be discussing it. As far as I can tell, oops, I guess that actually worked fairly well. As far as I can tell, oh, there's a tornado watch. That's good to know. Um, It's, Basically, what it is, is that Antonora seduced Vincefield with the idea that she was going to off herself. And there's a lot of reading in between the lines that indicates that Vincefield raped Antonora as a kid. That might have been like weird fan theories versus actual practice, luckily. Uh, am I supposed to leave again? There a teleporter up here and I just yeah there was okay um and the idea was that Antonora felt broken on the inside 
And the only way she can figure out how to get back at the man who removed everything from her. Her friends, her family, her life, her dignity, her insert everything you can think of, was to get him to love her and then betray him in the harshest manner possible. Ah, uh, yeah. It does look like they were a lot less explicit on that part, and that's probably good. I'm still going to keep the content warnings down there, but... Yeah, no, no, those were the two nasty ones. Um, speaking of, where the heck are the other Diablo pillars? I don't feel like searching around right now. Um, let's see. Okay, no. Oh, right. I remember this now. We actually pass by it. We actually need to go to the Valeria Chateau because there is an area that we can now get to. We've actually been there before. But there's an area that we can get to that actually has stuff now. Um, this is over by Gilgalad, right? Northwest towards Gilgalad. It's like one of these spots, I think. Nope, this is later. So that's a place we've probably been to before. I mean, this is Guild Galad over here. I just need to find where the landing pad is. It's in a weird spot, if I remember right. Does it actually say in the little guide thing? Southwest of Guild Galad, okay. There. There's the plus, which means it's over here. Yep. This is in the area that's basically where the subway is going between. I'm not going there yet. Yeah, I am, because I can't go anywhere else. Never mind. All right, this is the dungeon that everybody's weak against Earth. Tiny gems. Uh, that's not on the list. Oh, because they didn't put a space in. Okay. Uh, drops big berries. Not weak against anything. Low hit points. Okay. All oh, right. Nope. We need Tim to kill things. Bio laser. Bio laser. Ooh, got a count of thirteen. Drains life from a single life form. I'll show you what it looks like. It's not very impressive. Keep in mind, Tim is down 22 hit points. That was an instant death attack. What? So we're kind of 13 an instant death attack, and I thought it was a drain attack for some reason. I should probably look up that guy really fast. Hold on. Duplicate tab.
character guide. No, that says drain HP from an enemy. What the heck? I'm confused. I did cast Arcana 13 and not just like a furfur. Furfur? Furfur. Furfur. Uh, they have useful things, but nothing that I can actually do anything with right now. Cool. And those things have instant death, so... Oh, I forgot to actually equip the Azure Vest. I'll do that after this battle. Rock Dolt. You're fast. Rock Dolt. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I'm definitely on Arcana 13. All right, he's down 210 hit points now. That's just a random instant death attack. means it's mislabeled in all the FAQs and my memory. Cool. Either way, I'm not planning on touching it. Um. I already dug out. Adult. All right, what's the puzzle in Canis Tower? Space Invaders, got it. Cool. Yeah, it just... Do you see what I mean by these areas kind of feel like lazy game design? It's like the towers. There's nothing in them other than every two floors, there's a weird thing. Siblia. I don't remember an enemy that looks like that at all. Uh, half damage from all elemental attacks. Okay. I really don't remember that enemy. Uh, ooh, I can pickpocket good things from them. This is an area I might have to come back to. Just rock dolt you. Tiny flowers. Beans. Magic ball. Okay. Dealt an okay amount of damage. Okay. You're going to have to damage everything, so it doesn't particularly matter what element I use. But half damage is enough. I don't have that many hit points. So yeah, I mean, it's just a wide area for me to get into random encounters. That in theory should be draining my resources, but in practice, it's not even coming close to draining resources. If anything, I'm actually gaining resources. Oh, did that wrong. Just wondering if Puka could do anything. No. Puka is still 
the less useful handpan. So slow. Unmodified spell? First aid. There we go, got the tiny flower. And doesn't matter what attack I use. Claw! The sad thing is that Claw does more damage, even at half damage, than, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Cannon's normal attack, because Cannon's still, like, ten levels lower. Alright. Time for the inevitable boss battle. This time it's Tim. Tim! I don't remember what voice I used for Puka now. Tim! Alright, I know. Someone's trying to get sure we don't get there first. I feel it too. This evil. It's no ordinary person. I'm not going to be beat. I'm determined to get strong. But it might be impossible alone. But with you all behind me and Puka behind me, I knew I can get stronger. Mm, Puka's the least important of those because Puka's a terrible character. Drado! Snape! Shapeless slime monster. It's easy for me to say. Anything I need to worry about? Ah, uh, status effects. Crap. All right. It's so weak against both earth and fire. Forgetting to actually reload my um oh my God, these things. That's fine, I can do that after this battle. Hawking. Okay. Hyper weapon. Ponch. Thirty one. You did a melee attack, hit my lowest defense character, and did 31 damage. Speaking of defense, I need to actually upgrade your armor. Finally remembered. This is not even going to be worth fighting, is it? I'm probably already too highly prepped. Yep, I've already killed one head. Optochemical bomb! Oh no, you poisoned me! Ah. Optochemical bomb! Boom! Okay, the confusion might be a little more annoying. What medium do you have equipped right now? Ah, yeah. Let's go with fire.
Vapor Blast! I don't think we've actually seen the fire one yet. Slow frame rate. Ew. Only, only did, almost did five digit damage. It raining heavily again. Yeah, it's just wind. 10,000 XP. Blue wind acquired. Maybe I should have used the... Yeah, that would have actually made more sense to use the... Lucky card on that. Oh well. Not a big deal. Antidot on Tim. Continuing! Oh, right. Need to actually equip the armor I just gained. So yeah, if you can't tell, each of these are lined up with each of the characters. Um, the exception being that nobody's the equivalent of Ashley that we have right now. That sounded weird. Let me make sure it's still just a tornado watch. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just on the edge of the tornado watch, okay. Alright. Not here. There we go. Blue wind! Now you take even less damage when the enemies were already doing like two digit damage to you. <sighs> Ooh. Lots of tiny gems. Okay. Pickpocket. Not. All right, you need to have Odoruk equipped. There we go. Pickpocket, dig out, first aid. Healberry. Healberry? Oh, right, these are the ones that are Healberry, and it's the... I mixed up which one was which for the tiny flowers. Right? Yeah, it was the Siblias that do. Never mind, that was a waste. No laws like drinking claws. Wait. While drinking claws. Anyway. I'm getting a lot of loot from all of these things, but I don't have any use for it. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, you know all of the towns that we've been to in the game? Yeah, there's only one left. Total. In the entire game. It's like the second half of the game is just barren on content. dead. Inspire. I don't remember if I actually dug out successfully or not. We're ending at the end of Canis battle. Violet Rose. Okay, I did not successfully dig out. Oh, I used the wrong ability. Fine, I'm pickpocketing you. Or not. You're dead still. A lot of rain that I'm hearing. Alright, what's your puzzle? Stupid Kana. Oh, that's right. This is the save. Then two floors up is where I need to go. Where are we at on time? We're at an hour. I could stop it here, actually. That would probably make sense. So I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll fight Kanan next time. I'll talk to you later, Nanette.
Bye.